Uh, hi everybody, today is Thursday, 8 o'clock, so I, I thought I was going to make a video about emergency fund. You see, I never thought I'm going to need an emergency fund that I actually do now. Uh, people say that you need to save about three months worth of your expenses, anywhere from three months to six months worth of your expenses. But uh, I, I thought if I'm working and everything is fine, then I will not need an emergency fund. And the same thing goes for the AAA. I have a car, I'm thinking, uh, should I enroll in AAA or not? And I thought I didn't need to do that till I actually got a flat tire. And uh, when you get a flat tire, you begin to worry because you don't have any AAA, and you need to do something. And uh, then I did eventually enroll in AAA. And now I'm a proud member. And um, coming back to the emergency fund, I have one with his Boston Savings Bank. And uh, again, the reason why I selected East Boston Savings Bank, because it was a high yield bank. Uh, they offered one of the highest interest on savings in the country at that time. It was something like two point something percent, but it was one of the highest, if not the highest interest rate that they offered. Uh, right now, if you're looking at the interest rate they offer now, they cut their interest rate. And uh, right now, we have it. Let's see here. Let me click at the account. You see, they paid for the last month, they paid $7.61. And uh, right now, view, let's click on the view account information. Right now, they're offering. Their interest rate is 0.62 percent, and the last statement API interest rate earned was 1.33 percent. And uh, right now, the, there has been a cut, and I'm sure even this interest rate 0.62 percent will go down. Significantly, and I don't think they will continue even paying that. But uh, it doesn't really matter right now, since every single account that I have, whether it's an investment account or, or high yield savings account, is suffering right now. So I'm not getting any very high payments or, or whatever. But uh, I just want you. The reason for making this video is that I really want you to open your emergency fund account, or if you have not started it, please start. Because right now we are going through the, some hard times and we don't, I, I don't really know, and I'm sure you don't really know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And uh, the fact that you will have some money in your uh, savings account uh, will help you a lot in a sense, and it will help even psychologically. Not even financially, psychologically, knowing that you have at least some kind of money saved up for the rainy day. And we will have quite a few of the rainy days uh, to come. They will come certainly. I mean, it's my prediction. I hope I'm wrong, but uh, there are going to be quite a few rainy days ahead of us. And let's look at the accounts that I have. Right now I have less than $10,000. It used to be I had, it used to be that I, I had about close to close to fourteen thousand dollars. Let's look at what I'm having now. I'm just gonna make um, let's let's look at the show uh, schedule transactions. Let's go transaction history and let's click. Let's go to see what I had in it over the period of the last few months. And also, before I do, I would ask you kindly to subscribe to my channel. 
I see the number of my subscribers has increased. Uh, however, I still I still have a very long way to go. And I know that eighty of you who are, who are watching my video have not subscribed to my channel. And 80% 80, 80 of people who are viewing my videos. Only about maybe 10 or 20%. I have to I look at my statistical data and unfortunately I cannot remember. But most of you uh, who watch my video even all the way through, they don't subscribe. Uh, if you of you who do, I really appreciate it. It's going to give me motivation and drive to keep watching those videos. Even though the video about the emergency fund account is not very popular, they uh, they don't get as many views um, as the videos. The, 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 when I'm making the videos about fundraise account or my M1 finance account, I don't get as many views. However, I feel like today it's very important to make this video. Because the reason why I know some of you are throwing money at your M1 finances and buying all those stocks and bonds when they are low, there are some bargains up, out there. But I really want you to think about this one. So let's look. I'm not. It's not going to take too much time. So they pay the interest in the amount of seven dollars and sixty-one cents. Uh, I made two deposits there on on March twenty twenty-fifth. Uh, one deposit was made on March 25, another one on March 20th. In the amount of $500 and $200, it's going to give us $700. Before that, I had to withdraw. It was done on the 2nd of March. I made one withdrawal of $1,200 and um, uh, $1,200 rather. I wanted to pay my taxes earlier. I had some money in my checking account, but this amount of money that I needed to add to my tax bill, so I used my emergency fund. Uh, maybe it's not a very smart idea. I had to wait till I had some more money in my checking account to pay, but I decided to make a payment immediately. Uh, before that, on the 1st, even before the crisis began, on January the 1st, I made a transfer from this account to my checking account at the amount of uh, $3,500 and uh, $3,500. And, uh, you know, the reason why I made the transfer was because I was incurring many business expenses. I'm a small business owner, too, but... Um, I just didn't have enough money for the advertising, marketing, and uh, so forth. So it was the time I felt like I needed to come up with the money. And uh, that's why I made this tra transfer. I mean, maybe I needed to wait, and but I, I just couldn't wait because I felt my, that my business needed additional funds. And before that, even before that, when I had almost $14,000 there, uh, I made two transfers in the amount of nine hundred dollars, and uh, I think it was nine hundred dollars each two transfers because I also needed to pay some expenses. And unfortunately, many expenses come up. Uh, I do not keep too much money in my checking account because I try to invest my money either in fundraise or m1 finance uh, it's been a long time since i put some money in my high savings account except for these two transfers recently the amount of 500 and 200 dollars respectively uh but I, I i do want you to think about it if, if something would happen tomorrow i know you are investing and you you don't have any money let's assume like right now i'm out of work i i do not have even uh, that in independent, small part-time independent job, independent contractor job that I used to have right now currently because everything is shut down. So now I need to pay my expenses. I don't really have any profits. I'm not making any profits right now. They're definitely from, from the business that I have. I'm not working currently. I'm expecting the stimulus check. 
And I, in the fact that I have this emergency fund account, uh, really helps. It helps me psychologically. And I hope I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put some more money in there. But I'm saying if something would come up, and I, go, and I really hope that it will not, because I, I want to increase my, my emergency account has been depleted, and uh, it's time to put some more money in it. I will continue to invest money, some small amounts of money, in my M1 finance account. But uh, I think it's time to worry about my emergency fund as well. So right now it's close to ten thousand dollars. It's it used to be, and uh, let's see like what it was if I can count activity. Let's just click and uh, search your yeah, transaction history. Let's just do that and let's do it. Let's assume. Let's put, for example, June 6, 2019, till this day. Let's see if it's going to show us something. Yeah, it does show. And as you can see, at one point of time, I had $14,386.63. And so it was more than fourteen thousand dollars. Here it even gives me fourteen thousand four hundred thirty-eight dollars and fifty-one cents. I think it was the highest the half, including the interest. So uh, now it is almost ten thousand dollars. So basically, if you would just uh, round off the numbers, uh, my emergency fund account has decreased. Significantly, it's a difference of five thousand dollars between how it was before and uh, how it is right now. And lastly, I just want to uh, say what my goals briefly, and I will make a video on that. Uh, what my goal for this month of April is, just briefly, just a couple of words. If I get some some money coming in right now, like a stimulus check and everything else, I will probably put my money again in this Boston Savings Bank, uh, quote unquote savings bank, because right now I'm not saving much. I, I don't get any interest, uh, in, and uh, I'm not saving. Well, I will put some money there, and I will make small invest investments in my M1 finance account even though I am afraid that the market will go down even further and the money that you put in stocks and the stocks will go down so but I, I will put some, some money like a few hundred dollars probably in there and we will see what happens and thank you very much for watching this video again if you have not subscribed please do uh, each subscriber that I get means a lot to me it means that people are still watching and my channel and listening to my channel. My channel is growing. It gives me drive. It gives me motivation to proceed, knowing that I'm not just speaking to myself there. And I really appreciate it. And I, and I hope you have a nice day. Uh, thank you so much. Bye.